For more of Nigeria's finest tourist attractions, kindly click the subscribe button. Also follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Experiencing Niger. The Dajo Pottery is an international multi-award winning ceramic industry in Nigeria. First ever to produce in commercial quantity marble ceramic wares in the country and first in Africa to attain the digital ceramic technology. It has put the nation on the map with its unique designs and sheer will of its owner. The pottery, which was founded in 1984, is the brainchild of master porter and international ceramic icon Mr. Levi Yakubu. Working against men's apathy towards the craft of pottery, he became the first man in the Thief tribe of millions to embrace the art. You see, the apathy and contempt our people have for women activities and, and pottery being one of the dominant ones made it such a way that emphasis wasn't given to the best of brains to specialize in, in, in ceramics. And that has affected the sector up to today. And so on graduation, those who specialize in ceramics could not stand alone to, to set up their ceramic practices. I have been the first ABU graduate to establish this kind of edifice in ceramics. And so on graduation, I came back to Benue State I was a lecturer in ceramics at the State Polytechnic now. It used to be called Murtala College of Arts, Science and Technology. But when Buhari Idi Abum administration came and uh, banned the importation of ceramic tableware in 1984, I decided to resign my appointment as a lecturer in ceramics to establish this because that policy pronouncement restricting or banning importation of tableware ceramics and the whole of northern Nigeria was just Ladi Kwali ceramic pottery uh, or Ladi Kwali uh, pottery in uh, Suleja. The whole of west it was just uh, rich ware pottery in Ilupeju and the east boasted of uh, uh, modern ceramics in Moaya. And Kano had uh, one chalawa but it was sanitary. So who was going to supply the the huge demand gap that was created with this policy pronouncement. I took it as a personal, professional challenge. So I resigned in 85, June of 85, and came to this site. It was the heat of, or the thick of jungle. I could not drive to this location. I would park by the main road about 200 uh, meters away and walk to this place. Uh, to establish uh, my pottery because of the presence of uh, the raw material here. With the talent running through four generations and outstanding educational performances, it is no surprise why standardizing the art of pottery was personal to Mr. Yakubu, who is popularly referred to as Mr. Dajo. The pottery has grown from an initial staff strength of 10 to 52, thereby creating job opportunities for the immediate community as well as encouraging art lovers. Over time, this tourist site has attracted many from all over the world. Since its inception, the pottery has won some of the most prestigious awards in ceramics and pottery. These include for three consecutive years the International Ceramic Excellence Award in Jigdazen City, China. The expo features about 800 ceramic companies and 10,000 dealers of ceramic products from more than 80 countries around the world annually. For 30 years, the Dajo Pottery also provided training pro bono for university students in the industrial training scheme, thus encouraging a future generation of pottery artists and enthusiasts. The universities are just... Uh like uh, uh, clinics without, without, without drugs. You go and they tell you this, you have to compose this and this and this and then you be well. But here we don't prescribe. We teach them the ropes of how to, to start as a beginner, to a professional. So the industrial, uh, students' industrial works experience, which is CWES as they call it, uh, 
they come here and we run them through. Uh, Mr. Mbajume has been one of our pioneer porters. He's been with me for 28 years and he is one of those that, that teaches uh, uh, all the students how to make uh, pottery. And he, he is more or less a professor because what he can do our professors in ceramics cannot do. The skills God has given him uh, lacking to those skills Lady Kwali had without going to a former school. She, she, was, she was a doctor in ceramics. And so this is another one. And several of them like him have been with me all these years and we are mentoring the younger ones. All the tertiary institutions that offer ceramics, they see their students here for six months placement in uh, IT, industrial training. And we have been offering this service for the past 30 years on pro bono. Even with all of these achievements, the poultry faces an enormous challenge of funding. On our visits, its structures looked worn and finished products were covered in dust. Neglect is slowly driving the pottery underground. An interesting fact about Dajo pottery is that clay needed for production is sourced from the vast land on which it is located. The gorge created from digging clay was eventually turned into a fish pond, creating another source of income. For Mr. Dajo, access to loans and government recognition will go a long way in the survival of the pottery. Yeah, the demand for Nigerian pottery, especially uh, Dajo pottery brand, uh, is very wide. We have a request from America, from the EU, from Southeast Asia, Middle East. Unfortunately, the banks are not cooperating with us. This investment you have seen, uh, we got a facility from a bank. But then, the processing, the production are okay, but the finishing, there is a bottleneck. And we didn't, uh, it wasn't configured during the procurement uh, time. I wouldn't want to say we were shortchanged by uh, machinery suppliers because I want to take the, the responsibility, having been boxed into the corner. So, what we did was to revert to our technical partners in the UK and uh, engage the services of a technical auditor who now came, looked at the facility and was able to identify the, the, the pitfall uh, through that uh, exercise of auditing, technical audit he did. So when we presented this to our bank and told them that our technical partners are ready to recalibrate our production machinery and then clear the bottleneck by injecting additional uh, machinery to give us uh, a through flow of our production process. Uh, the banks were hesitant to give us additional uh, 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 funds to alleviate or to overcome that challenge. It has taken more than three years today, and uh, time is running out on everybody. We are not getting younger. But see, our technical partners have entered an MOU with us, a 10-year MOU, if we provide this uh, additional funding, which is, which is uh, now up to 200 uh, million, to clear this, inject new, this in and get a a uh, 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 sustainable stream of uh, production. For more of Nigeria's finest tourist attractions, kindly click the subscribe button. Also follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Experiencing Niger.